Hello friends and happy Friday. It has been forever, I feel like, since I've been on here. And I apologize for that. I don't really know what's been going on. I think more than anything, I have been finishing up my class to go projects and so I've been having to create those and create videos and PDFs and um, yeah, just felt crazy with that and I can't share those things because people have paid for them. Um, so I just haven't been creating anything new. So having said that, I had a few minutes and I wanted to get on here, hello Casey, and do something. So I saw a beautiful card uh, by Cindy Schuster who um, is one of the, I think she works for Stampin' Up actually. She's one of their designers or something, but she also is part of the Crafty Carrot Co. And I had saved a card she had done in black. And so I thought we'd give that a try. N not her card, but the black. And also I realized now that we are almost at December that, uh, oh my gosh, there are so many things I haven't used yet. One of them being this Words of Cheer bundle. So it is this stamp set. I mean, I've used it, don't get me wrong, because I did my swap cards with it. So I have actually used it, but you know, I haven't mass produced with it. So the stamp set, and then there are these beautiful dies, and there's the word cheer. We're gonna use that, so I've already got it sort of set aside. So we're gonna play around with this. Now, I have an idea in my mind. I haven't actually made the card, because I wanted to do it with you guys, and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. So we are going to have a card base, uh, black. I just happen to already have one cut. Um, it's, the card is going to open this way, but you can, it doesn't matter how you cut your card. Now we have our layer, so this is our four by five and a quarter. We are going to emboss this. I did not do this ahead of time because I wanted to see which one we thought would look nice. I was thinking this hammered metal might look really nice in black because um, so I'm thinking like that. We're gonna have this guy on there. We're gonna have the words across. I just don't want it to look too busy, which is why I sometimes haven't used this hammer metal because it seems fairly, it's a fairly bold embossing folder. Maybe not a whole card front kind of embossing folder, more of an accent embossing folder. Or we could do um, this, uh, what's this, bark. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Should we go go big or go home? I mean, I, always, I guess if we don't like it, we can emboss a different sheet. So should we do the hammered metal or should we do the bark? Keeping in mind, we are going to be putting this image and the word cheer across the front. So what do you guys think? Hey, Vanessa, hello again from Ottawa. Uh, anyone, anyone, Bueller, either is great. That's not very helpful, Casey. Not very helpful at all. Well, you know what? Let's uh, let's emboss with this, the metal. And if we don't like it, we just won't use it. So is this a 3D one? It is a 3D one. I've been trying to put tape on all my 3D ones, but obviously I don't use this one very often because it has no tape on it. Okay, sorry, just off to the side here, embossing. You know what? Sure. We're gonna do it, folks. We're gonna do it. And we're gonna just if we decide it looks terrible when I make another one, we will I'll use the other one. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just putting a little bit of washi tape on this die so I know it's a 3D one and then that way I don't have to find the lid again or the case. Okay, I'm not gonna adhere these two together yet in case we decide this looks terrible. All right, now I have already pre-stamped this, this big main image just to kind of keep things moving. I stamped in crumb cake on crumb cake and I also stamped in Memento on Vanilla. 
And I also stamped on Memento in white. I am leaning towards using the crumb cake, but we're gonna play around with a couple things and see what we like. So what I was thinking we would do, so there's all these little stamps, and I don't know who has this one, but this floral stamp, you can kind of stamp it in the middle of this image. It's not perfect, but it's similar. So we're gonna do that. And these little berries will line up with the berries and this little guy lines up with the green. So we're gonna give this a whirl. It might be a disaster, but we're gonna try it. Um, so I thought we would use crumb cake, or not crumb cake, <laughs> cherry cobbler. Part of me thinks we should stamp it off. I'm gonna stamp on the back and just see how this looks. So there is full strength. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna stamp it off. So I'm gonna get a second piece of scrap paper here. Okay, so we're gonna ink it up. We're gonna stamp it off. And then I'm gonna try to line it back up again. And uh, there was a way. Yes, okay. That's not quite it. Hang tight, folks, hang tight. So it lines up with those little guys. Okay. This might not work out how I imagined, but we're gonna try it. Um, now this flower is a little smaller, so it's not gonna line up quite the same. And then this guy is probably even smaller. Okay, so we're gonna try that. And then these little dots. When I made this card here, I made this card for a swap and I did red and then I actually did the dots in like a crushed curry color, kind of like a gold. And then I used um, green. So we could always do that again. So maybe I'll wait on the dots. Okay, I'm gonna bring in shaded spruce and we're gonna stamp this. I think we're probably gonna stamp this off too. And this perfectly is the size of, well, this guy. Which means he won't quite be the size of the other guys. But that's okay. So what I might actually do Kind of go like that. Okay, we're just playing, folks. We're just playing. And then going to okay I know what we're gonna do dun, 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 dun. we are going to
and color behind this. can't tell if anyone's commenting. doesn't look like it. <laughs> You're probably like, what is she doing? She doesn't really have a clue, but we're winging it. And if we're lucky, it's going to look pretty. Okay. And then we're going to take our Um, this is our light Just Jade blends. So yes, I am using all sorts of coloring tools, which is kind of fun. Nothing too exact here, just kind of playing around. Making sure I didn't miss any. Okay. Now, about those berries. <laughs> Maybe we'll try some bumblebee. Okay, so if you ink up all three, I think this will do full strength they actually line up with oh no they don't pretty close i thought okay i'm just gonna ink up two at a time then i'm gonna ink up these two because they seem to line up with a lot of them one. So yes, it would be faster for me to color these, but I thought it was kind of funny that, or neat, that I thought this actually matched. And you know, that's why they give us all these stamps. There's lots of adorable little dies with this set too, of which I haven't used. And I've seen people make beautiful, beautiful, beautiful things. Um, but they also seem time consuming. Just pose is not really the right attitude. Okay. So there you have it. So a different way to stamp and then color this guy in. We haven't really gone for what I thought I was going for though, so we're gonna see if we end up using this one or not. And if we don't, we've colored it and it's neat. Um, okay, we need the dye. So this has a dye. And it's actually one of the easier ones to line up, which is nice, it's pretty obvious. So I'm just gonna go off to the side here and uh, die cut this, because I'm going to use my old magnetic plate rather than deal with washi tape or trying to hold it in place. This will fit through, I think it fits through the mini emboss, the mini boss. Okay. Now, I wanted to play around with these dies. So what I have already done is I've already put adhesive, the adhesive sheet on the back of here. And I mean, this is the brushed metallic cardstock. So we're gonna cut out the word cheer. And then I've already put our like dimensional adhesive sheet on the back of this. So just another color of the um, 
brushed metallic cardstock. And we're gonna run those through. through a third that run that one through again so you haven't used this die so sometimes that is not your best bet you should use things when you get them because just in case there's something off with them then you can contact stampin up I think we're good I think it's just because I'm going to cut once more, die side up. Oh no. Oh geez. That didn't work. Look what happened. I moved it. What a mess. All right. Cancel that. That is a mess. Okay. Well, here's our cheer. That looks very pretty. All right, we're gonna have to cut that again. So my plan had been to put, sort of put this on and then but this isn't quite as bright as I thought I was gonna make it. And I was also thinking, you're probably like, oh my god, what is she doing? So I was gonna kind of cut it. And then we need a bigger piece of black. this no that's gonna to be too busy although that's quite pretty okay so I am cutting this I'm gonna cut it one inch and then we're gonna banner the ends Okay, and then that's gonna go across there. Okay, I think this has the, whoa, the potential to look really pretty, but I think that this is too washed out. I don't like how that has ended up looking. So, we are going to just go ahead and uh, use our blends instead. And if you're still watching, 
Thanks for sticking around. Seeing as this has not sort of turned out exactly how I thought I would. I thought because I'd kind of eyeballed it ahead of time, I was like, oh yeah, this will be no problem. As you can tell, that's not quite what happened. <laughs> okay, thanks, you're sweet. And so then what I'm going to do, I still like the idea of um, I'm going to actually use 30 Flamingo now. My favorite poinsettias were always the pink ones. Always, always, always. Okay. Now, I don't know, do we have a shaded spruce? And then I think uh, what we should do is I might use the dark just jade. Which is on the ground. So in my mind, this was going to look really lovely with the crumb cake and the brushed metallics. Um, I'm not sure at this point if you guys would agree or not, but that's okay. That's okay. This is how we roll. I'm so sorry you guys. Okay, now I gotta get out my brush metallics again because I ruined that piece of gold. So I think I'm just going to run it through without the puffy stuff underneath, just to be sure. Hello Lynn Scott, if you're joining late, you're joining a bit of a train wreck. But welcome. There we go. That worked at least. Okay. It's probably better anyway because I had a different idea for this. All right. This die is really pretty though. Okay. <laughs> You'll go back to the beginning. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure it's worth it, but maybe we should have just used that guy. I guess I could have used both of them. So my plan had been to have this card go this direction. And 
and um, I actually almost thought some of this ribbon would be nice too. So it had been to go like this and then to actually cut these and have the cheer go that way instead of having it go up and down. But you can see sort of what I was thinking. So if we turn the card, it was gonna kinda go like this and then you know these letters were gonna be on here. but I kind of wanted to do the cheer the other direction. Um, but now I'm kind of wondering, I think it looks nice with like this big bold So maybe we kind of do it like this. And maybe we have some ribbon. Don't do this at home, folks. Don't do this at home. I guess no matter what, I could glue that down. This ribbon is gorgeous, though. If you didn't have any, I would get some now. Before it's too late, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right. Now I'm flustered, so I can't even get my bow to tie. But let's assume that we like that. And then we were to do that. And then we were to still do what I had originally planned. Okay, okay, we can work with this, people. So I'm gonna cut these letters apart. And you're like, where are your snips? And that, my friends, is an excellent question. Okay, so what you are learning this evening is what not to do. And um, yeah, hopefully you have a glass of wine or whatever your beverage of choice is. And that is helping you through this comical experience. You can see how lovely those colors look off the black though, right? So these, I did put the adhesive sheets on. So we can actually go ahead and have that work out for us. So we're gonna center that on. So then maybe we actually just kind of put it down here. All right.
right, this might not be a total loss. It's not what I had envisioned, but you know, that's what you get when you craft live and you're not just copying a card you've already prepared. You get creative, uh, the creative process. I do think these letters look stunning in this uh, cardstock. Okay. I'm not sure what you guys are thinking, but I've got a plan. It's not, uh, okay, so there's our letters. I like this, but I realize now I have tied the ribbon around the whole card, uh, which is not a crisis, I guess. I'll leave it. You, you love the layered letters, oh, thanks. Um, okay, so I'm gonna adhere this down. Well, that's good. We've got one part of this card, right? The layered letters. <laughs> oh my God, what a train wreck. Train wreck. I see some red wine in my future. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. I want my bow going the other way. I don't know if that bothers anyone else, but it bothers me. Um, so I'm going to take it off because I can, and I'm going to put it back on the other way. I don't know if anyone else ever does this, but I sometimes do, right? So you just squeeze your cardstock so that it's not going to, okay, there we go. So now that is the other way. Love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Da, da, da. Do you guys remember how I had this? <laughs> I think it kind of goes like this. All right, so if we do that, we put this guy in there like this. And then I still think we might need like this extra bit of black though. Okay, so bear with me. And then we're gonna have the letters down here. So I'm gonna have to move this even further over. All right, so then we've got our cheer. We've got this guy, so I'm trying to think, does he, I think he stays behind. Maybe even up a little. And then I'm wondering though, maybe this black is just a little thinner. Trying to imagine. Or maybe this has to go over. Yes, okay. I'm gonna center these on here. I'm gonna find little black dimensionals. We're probably still gonna to have to cut these in half. And this is where that, uh, had that worked with those other things, 
we wouldn't be doing this, but that's okay. So we're gonna cut these guys in half. So there's a couple of tips for when you need to cut dimensionals in half. You can move them to a spot on the place where, and then you're not cutting, your scissors don't get sticky. That makes sense. So move them to an edge and then you're not cutting through the sticky bit. If I had the edges, that would be perfect, right? Because then, oh, I guess I do over here. I just would cut those. So you can see what I often do here is I make my own strips. By cutting the edges. That's why this one has no edges anymore. Because I've cut them all. And I can't remember where I learned this, but it's pretty clever when it works. Sometimes you end up getting the whole thing though, so then it doesn't always, it's sometimes it's as finicky as it was. All right, we're almost done here. You guys are like, thank goodness. I was like, okay, I'll quickly go on. I'll make a card before my son and my husband get back from his lacrosse practice because they kind of come in here like freaking, you know, bull in a china shop and they're making all sorts of noise. And then my son likes to read on the iPad while he has a snack. And Okay. So I'm going to put these down because I don't want to start doing it and then realize my spacing is totally messed up because once we get going there's no going back there's no turning back so I'm going to center on the cheer so this is let's start at five so it's easy 10 13 and a half so half of 13 is six and a half, so five, six, 11. So I think the E needs to go about there. Okay, so I'm going to start with the E and then work my way from around it. Five, what did I say, six and a half. Okay, and then now it's fine because we can just space out on either side of that. I guess I don't need to be at the bottom of the screen anymore, do I? I'm really pleased to see that there are some of you are still here. If you have this uh, set the bundle or just the stamp set or I would love for you to share um, your creations so I'm actually gonna have those two kind of overlap because I didn't like how far apart that was getting so feel free once this live is over and this video is posted on my page to come back and share with me your creations with this bundle. I would like that. Now what would probably look really gorgeous, and we are not going to do, at least not during this live, because this has already taken us forever. would be in the dye, there's some really pretty um, 
dies like to put some little red flowers so you can see this kind of went wonky so oh my god i'm wrapped in ribbon i'm gonna try to shorten it i'm gonna have to use scissors though so i'm going to come in a bit So there is a way to fix almost everything. You can see that, right? Was that someone laughing? <laughs> uh, ramen eggnog. Ooh, I don't like ramen eggnog. Who doesn't love a good train wreck? Who doesn't love a good train wreck, Casey? I agree. Cheers to you. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> you guys are the best. I should have, I don't know why I couldn't see your comments. Okay. So this I'm going to stick down flat. So let's do that. Uh, funny, I don't know why it does this now. It's like Facebook, it doesn't show the comments. It's such a pain. Silly Facebook. Okay. So we had this kind of like that, right? And I am still gonna move this ribbon up just a snick. So like this, oh geez, whoops. When you want, yeah, thank you, Christina. When you want to, right, you just kind of do that. Then our ribbon moves. And if you kind of want your ribbon to lay in a certain spot, then a glue dot or a little bit of adhesive underneath of it can work magic. Okay, so now I'm thinking we do this. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, this is awesome. All right, um, you're gonna love this. So my seal, I don't know what, I did something, I pressed too hard and then I got gummed up with cardstock and then I couldn't get the, then it wrapped up on itself and then I couldn't fix it. <laughs> so this is what we're dealing with right now because I didn't want to throw it away and I did my best to fix it. And it's a nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Okay, so we're gonna go like this. Make sure it's straight because that's nothing's gonna be worse than that. Okay. <laughs> well, it's not terrible. Not terrible. So I think what would look lovely, there's a couple of things. So in here there's um, you know, Christmas cheer. I like the idea of holiday cheer. So, you know, you could stamp, um, although it's not very big the word holiday um, so I might play around with that not the days just holiday holiday cheer you could also like I said there are lots of dyes so there's these beautiful little stars in here um, so those might actually look really pretty in um, cherry cobbler and then kind of in between the cheer it might be too much but it might look pretty um, also just embellishments so like holiday rhinestones might look really nice so for example let's just see what that looks like so you could just take some holiday rhinestones and you could use all the colors, which can be fun. So here you can see we've got uh, the yellow and the green, and then on the other side, the cobbler. 
right? So you could always um, just kind of put in some jewel tone. embellishments I kind of like the idea like I said you could put the cherry cobbler ones sort of down here I do like the idea of the embellishments of the jewel tones. So if we take a bunch of these, I'm gonna play around with that, you guys. But we are now like almost an hour into this live. It's pretty ridiculous. So thank you for sticking with me. Um, I will obviously post the finished card. Um, I'm going to play around with those other pieces that I already stamped. Um, and I'm going to show you some other options too. Although they didn't turn out here. Alright. Have a good night you guys. Thanks so much.